why it's so hard for the narcissist when you move on. When you move on, the narcissist will often find themselves in a difficult situation. They will begin to panic. They will experience sudden uncontrollable fear and anxiety, which causes wildly unthinking behavior. While they were with you, everything was so easy. It was very convenient for them. It fitted in well with their needs, activities and plans. It involved little trouble or effort. Because you were doing all of the work, they had nothing to worry about. In many situations, the narcissist will have a place to stay. They will have all of the bills paid for. They will have nothing to worry about financially. Narcissists have a strong sense of entitlement. So they believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. And if you are a codependent or empath, they just see you as being very naive. They see you as showing a lack of experience, wisdom and judgment. They typically target people who don't have much experience in relationships because then you don't know if what they're doing is right. You trust their judgment. You believe what they're saying to you. If they demand or expect something from you, you assume that it's something you must provide and they take advantage of that, they will take you to the cleaners. They will drain you mentally, emotionally and financially. You will lose a lot of money. You will lose a lot of time and energy because it takes a lot to keep someone afloat. Even to, even to keep ourselves going, it takes a lot out, out of us. But when the narcissist comes into the picture, we begin to neglect ourselves. All of our time, energy and money is spent on keeping the narcissist alive. It's spent on keeping the narcissist emotionally stable in the hopes that they won't attack or criticize us. If you don't do what the narcissist wants, they will get very angry because they're dependent on you. You are their only source of survival. When the narcissist targets a source of supply, that person is their life support. That person is supposed to keep them alive. And you will find yourself have to, having to dig into your own life source to keep them going. Until you don't even recognize yourself anymore. You don't remember the person you used to be. You used to look after yourself. You used to have time to introspect. You used to have time to examine your thoughts and feelings. But now your world has been dominated by the narcissist. Now your world revolves around them. So while the narcissist is with you, they don't have anything to worry about. They may shout and scream and act like you're causing so many problems and difficulties, but that's just a part of the strategy. 
That's just designed to keep you running on the hamster wheel. Because if you were really a problem for them, they wouldn't even stick around. If you could see the narcissist interacting with someone who doesn't play their game, they wouldn't even stick around for a second. The only reason why they would still be with you is because they still see you as their fool. They still see you as their doormat. And although they may not appreciate anything you've done for them, it's actually very convenient for them. It's useful and suitable for them. It contributes to an easy and effortless, effortless way of life. When they found you, they struck gold. They do see the value in what you've done for them. And that is why it's so hard for them to let go. Of course, they're never going to tell you this. They want you to doubt your worth. They want you to doubt your qualities and abilities because it keeps you looking at yourself rather than realizing that they're not bringing anything to the table because while it was very convenient for them, it was very inconvenient for you. It caused a lot of problems and difficulties for you. The narcissist comes in with nothing and leaves with everything. While you come in with everything and leave with nothing. So when you move on, it's very hard for the narcissist because they know your value. They know your worth. They recognize the conveniences that you brought to their lives. Which is why they're not just going to move on gracefully. They're not just going to move on in a respectful and dignified way. Despite, despite everything you did for them, they're going to portray it as though you didn't do enough. And they might even start a smear campaign, a smear campaign against you. So that everyone sees you in the same way. So that everyone sees you as this horrible person who neglected and abandoned them. Even though the narcissist actually gained a lot while being with you. Their life was easier than it had ever been. They're going to portray it as though you couldn't do anything right. As though you brought all of these problems and difficulties into their lives. Because they see it as though if a relationship ends, someone must be at fault. Someone must have been the problem. While the other person was the victim. And they do not want to be seen as the problem. They do not want to be seen as someone who did anything wrong. Their image and reputation is very important to them. Which is why they will always play the victim role. They will act as though you did something to them. Or you didn't do enough for them. When you get involved with a narcissist, it will always end with you being seen as a bad guy. No matter what you did for them. But even though they portray you as this horrible person, they will still hold on to you for dear life. They will still try to consume the remains of whatever they haven't used up yet. Because although they may have enjoyed many conveniences while they were with you, they understand that they're going to need a souvenir to move on without you. They're going to need a piece of the pie. When you move on from the narcissist, they're not going to look back and appreciate everything you did for them. They're not going to see it as though you did all of that out of goodwill. They saw you as a doormat. They saw your kindness as a weakness. 
something for them to exploit. And when you move on, the exploitation doesn't stop there. They will continue trying to walk all over you. Because they know that you're going to be fine without them. They know that you're going to have no problems moving on. They know that they were the ones who needed you. And they see it as though you're running off with all of the goodies. You're running off with all of the special and nice things that you will enjoy. And they hate the thought of that. It eats away at them. So before they leave, they're going to try to milk as much out of you as they can. They're going to have you waiting on them hand and foot. Because they know that they're not going to be able to survive without you. They know that they need a part of you to keep them going. And if you don't cave in to their demands, they're just going to use that to support their smear campaign. They're going to use that to make it look like you're leaving them out in the cold. Never mind everything you did for them up until that point. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that you exist to serve them. And if you don't, then you're at fault. So even when you try to move on, they're still going to be holding on to you. A normal breakup might be painful and it could last for up to a few weeks. But when you try to move on from a narcissist, it can last for years. When you move on from the narcissist, the narcissist knows it's going to be hard. They know it's going to be difficult for them. They know they're going to struggle without you. And that is why they need to find your replacement. They need to find someone else to give them attention and admiration. Someone else to provide them with what they need. Someone who they haven't drained yet. And they will often do this from the moment they start devaluing you. When they start abusing you and you take a step back, they're already on the lookout for their next source of supply. They're already looking for someone to replace you. Because they know they're not going to be able to survive on their own. They know they're not going to be able to live a convenient life without someone to support them. They will try to find someone who is powerful, attractive and successful. But it doesn't always work out that way for them. In many cases, they just have to settle with what they've got. Beggars can't be choosers. And although they may miss some of the conveniences you provided to them, they're still going to see it as though you were the problem. They're going to see it as though you made the wrong decision. And regardless of your success or whatever you've built for yourself, they're just going to see you as a fraud. They're going to see you as someone who is not deserving of it. As you're trying to move on, 
they will try to milk as much out of you as they can. But it's never enough. They will always need someone else to sustain them. And that's when the cycle just starts all over again. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.